if we don't head off the growing number of crises and get ahead of these environmental disasters, we will find them running out of control. Now, this is the map I promised to show you. This is uh, <coughs> the summary for 2014 of the climate anomalies. It was warm everywhere in the world, except for one little place, which was us. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> other than that, or if you happen to live out, uh, if you happen to be, uh, I guess, a cod uh, in the North Atlantic, uh, you, felt co you felt warm everywhere, uh, except, I guess, uh, Angola, Namibia, and uh, the U.S. Northeast. This is uh, this meandering polar front, which sat over uh, the winter, cutting uh, deep to the deep south of the U.S., and it's doing it again this year, uh, whether that's a long-term uh, new normal or whether it's just an odd anomaly is uh, obviously too early to say. Now, what are we going to do about all of this? Well, I do believe that sustainable development is the calling card of our time because it is the philosophy that says we need a holistic approach that puts economic, social, and environmental objectives in a holistic framework on power, not just chasing GNP, not just chasing the bottom line of income, but an economic, social, and environmental <coughs> framework that holistically combines these societal objectives. As an analytical framework, it is the study of complex, nonlinear, interacting, natural, and human systems. So sustainable development is both a, an analytical approach as well as a moral approach, in my view, both a positive and a normative framework for our time. What is important, and I think maybe very lucky for us, is that the 193 member states of the United Nations decided in 2012 that we must put sustainable development as the core organizing principle for global development for the coming generation. And so at the United Nations this September 25 to 27, the world will adopt sustainable development goals. I'm putting a lot of hope <coughs> in this because in general, the world doesn't agree on very much of anything, but when it does agree on some things, at least they can get noticed. And the fact that the world is going to agree, most likely pending the outcome of the ongoing negotiations at the UN on new sustainable development goals, I believe that this can be a core organizing principle for the coming generation.